The Armenians are one of the oldest standing Christian groups today, and they were also one of the first groups to adopt Christianity as a state religion. As such, Christianity is a central part of their culture, and it is the reason that they were persecuted in the Armenian Genocide. The Armenians' persecution all started in 1453 when the Ottomans conquered Constantinople as well as Armenia. Because Armenians were Christian and the Ottoman Empire was founded on Muslim beliefs, Armenians were given unfair taxes as well as limited rights and participation in government. However, during the 1800s, ideas of constitutionalism, which states that government derives its power from the people, swept through Europe, and then this caused Armenians to want more rights. As you could imagine, this escalated tensions. However, during this time, Russia also became more powerful as Ottoman Empire declined. And then, because the Russians supported the Armenian right movement, and they also had Armenians in their army, then this also further escalated tensions between the Russians and the Ottomans, and also the Armenians and the Ottomans. Tensions escalated to a point where, in the late 1800s, there was the Hamidian Massacre, which killed 100,000 to 300,000 Armenians. And this was just a mere prelude to the Armenian Genocide, which would come around 20 years later. About a decade later, a group of liberals called the Young Turks sided with minorities in an attempt to get, gain rights for those minorities. And in 1908, they actually overthrew the Sultan, and then they established in its wake a constitutional government, which gave Armenians equal rights. However, this did not last long, because the masses of the Turkish people still supported the Sultan, so with it, before long, he was put back into power. As a result of this came a new wave of discrimination, and this fueled the Adana Massacre, in which 30,000 Armenians were killed. On August 2, 1914, the Ottoman Empire entered World War I and began fighting Russia, which, as mentioned earlier, advocated equal rights for Armenians. Because of this, the government, CUP, or Committee of Union and Progress, became worried that the Armenians would aid the Russians. In response, they spread propaganda that turned the public against Armenians. This established the Armenians as an outside group, which would encourage people not to oppose the Armenian Genocide one year later. 